Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about the bacterial growth curve, also known as the microbial growth curve. Now, what is this bacterial growth curve? What are the phases of bacterial growth curve? And why the different phases behave differently in bacterial growth curve? We'll understand everything in this video. We'll also talk about another important feature of this growth curve that is known as dioxic growth or dioxic growth curve. So stay tuned and watch it. The very first thing that you need to understand is when we talk about bacterial growth curve, we are trying to understand the growth of bacterial cell. So bacteria is a single cell organism and it grows by dividing itself from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16 like that. So this exponential growth and division is measured outside of any environment in our artificial environment in the laboratory setup. So in the laboratory setup, when we allow the bacteria to grow and divide, then we measure the growth and we plot it against the time to get the bacterial growth curve. That's how we get the curve from bacterial growth. Now this bacterial growth depends on primarily the food resource. So I can write it primarily depend on the food resource, right? But apart from the food, there are other factors that play important role in bacterial growth the environmental factors the environmental factors can be temperature right it can be ph it can be salinity right of the environment and as the bacteria start to grow more and more like it become more dense the population then the toxic waste that the bacteria releases to the environment will also increase and when the toxic waste increase then that toxic waste or increment of the toxic waste also slows down the further growth of bacteria. So when you are discussing about the bacterial growth, you need to take account not only the food for bacterial growth, but also the environmental parameters and the density factor of bacterial growth. Okay. So now based on this idea, let's assume we start with one single bacteria and that bacteria is now introduced to a new environment. Let's say the bacteria love to eat glucose and grow. Every single bacteria love to eat glucose because glucose is a very simple sugar, easy digestible. So the bacteria can grow in the sugar very easily. But when you transfer the bacteria from sugar, from glucose to a different kind of sugar, which is not glucose, although it's a sugar, but not glucose, a little different. So then in that case, the bacteria need to produce enzymes to digest that sugar. So the bacteria may need some time in order to accustom to that environment, first of all. Second thing, requires to produce enzymes specifically designed to take that sugar as a resource of growth or as a food resource. So the very first phase where the bacterial growth is very limited due to the change in environment, due to, uh, to production of sugar or to production of enzymes to digest particular sugar, that is known as a lag phase. So lag phase is where the bacteria is not growing, the bacteria is producing important proteins, enzymes in order to utilize uh, food that is available in a particular environment. After that, that comes log phase. Log phase is known as exponential phase because this is the phase where the bacteria actually grow from 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16, 16 to 32, huge and very fast growth. This is the log phase and very fast growing phase. At this particular phase, the bacteria is growing fast. So basically, uh, the growth of bacteria or the birth of bacteria is more than the death of bacteria. And the birth of bacteria is way more than death of bacteria. So that leads to ultimate appreciation in the population size of bacteria. In this growth curve, we see time in the x-axis and we see the number of bacterial cells in the y-axis. So number of bacterial cells depends on the time. So that's how the growth curve is created. So more and more bacterial growth than death. That's why the exponential growth is done in the log phase. After this, because during this time, they need to have supply of food the food supply must be continuous right so let's assume that we allow the bacteria to grow in a medium medium means that contains food food source for bacterial growth liquid medium for example the bacteria will grow but there is a limitation of the food because we are not adding food 
it's a closed system so when the food is adequate the vector continue to grow like a log phase like an exponential phase but once it reaches the limitation of the food then the bacteria stops the growth no further growth of bacteria because there is a limitation of food then the bacteria reaches what is known as a stationary phase in this phase the birth of bacteria is almost equal to the death rate of bacteria so birth rate and death rate is almost equal so we can say that no net growth that's why you can see the curve is flat no net growth because the number of bacteria growing born the number of bacteria dying are equal after this phase because this is the time where there is huge number of bacteria already present in the medium and as i told you that the more bacteria grown in the medium they release the toxic wastes the waste component is increasing and that will restrict further growth of bacteria so that is density mediated slow down of bacterial growth density mediated slow down so due to this slow down they begin a decline phase because obviously the food is depleted obviously food is already gone at this point and now the dead cells are increasing now the toxic waste is increasing so every single favorable parameter for the bacterial growth is not present anymore so starts the decay so what we can say that the death rate increases then the birth rate so there is ultimate decay in the curve so curve is now going down this is known as the death phase so these are the four important phases lag phase that is a preparatory phase log phase exponential phase stationary phase stabilization phase and death phase is the end phase of bacterial growth curve okay and if we consider the bacteria to grow and produce important components because sometimes we depend on bacteria to produce certain enzymes which is used in different uh, industrial processes of food production or any other kind of production units so what we know here is that this this products like enzymes or any important product the bacteria should contribute for the growth of specific food products that we use bacteria for in the different phases log phase is the exponential phase where bacteria is utilizing primary metabolites and not producing any secondary metabolites they are involved in the process of glycolysis and further production of energy utilization of the carbohydrate source for producing energy so log phase is the phase where it's dealing with primary metabolites okay primary metabolites and stationary phase is the phase where you are producing secondary metabolites okay and if you are talking about gram negative bacteria then release of lipopolysaccharide layer which is also known as endotoxin so release of lipopolysaccharide also known as endotoxin also done in the death phase but the bacteria die then they release lipopolysaccharide layer out okay these are some important points that you need to consider when understanding the bacterial growth curve and remember in every single stage the temperature ph salinity of the medium and availability of the light source availability availability of oxygen also play important role they have their own role to play in every single step, step here okay one more thing that i want to uh, share here is regarding another type of growth this is known as dioxy growth so what is that let me give you a quick idea sometimes you know as i told you that the bacteria is growing in a glucose which is very simple sugar now the bacteria is transferred from glucose to a new sugar that is lactose lactose is another sugar now the bacteria can utilize both glucose as well as lactose but the enzymes needed to utilize glucose is readily available inside bacteria and the enzymes needed to readily utilize lactose is not always present in bacteria which will be turned on as a lac operon so it takes some time so when in the medium we give both lactose and glucose the bacteria will always choose to utilize glucose right so imagine this idea if we give glucose as well as lactose in the medium the bacteria try to use glucose first they will use glucose first and once they utilize glucose once the glucose is depleted then they will start utilizing lactose they will utilize lactose later so what happens here is that 
first they utilize glucose once glucose depleted then they utilize lactose but what happen is that when you see this kind of situation where both the sugar sources are there and the bacteria can utilize both but they choose to utilize one first once that is depleted then they start utilizing the second kind of sugar then you will see a stretch of bacterial growth curve like this which is known as dioxic growth curve dioxic dioxic growth curve now, and now what is dioxic growth curve is that in dioxic growth curve you will have two lag phases two lag phase first or primary lag phase and secondary lag phase first the primary lag phase for glucose then log phase for glucose then stationary phase for glucose after the stationary phase it will not reach the death phase because from the stationary phase onward they will migrate to another short lag phase for lactose then they will begin log phase for lactose then stationary phase for lactose and then finally death phase for lactose so this is going to be the growth curve when two sugar two types of sugar are present in a medium and we put the microorganism in that medium they start utilizing the first kind once that is depleted then they utilizing the second kind okay two lag phases are observed in dioxic growth curve di means strong so two oxic two different mode of sugar they utilize okay this is a common example of dioxic growth curve in lack uh, utilization of lactose and here utilization requires a short lag phase because this is the time where the lac operon the lac operon turn on at this time okay that's the idea of dioxic growth so this in a sense some sums up the idea about the bacterial growth curve or microbial growth curve if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye